currently on a flight on their way back to the UK as we speak. Guess who it is, Rue? Guess who it is? If you are completely new here or relatively new here, Kenny is my fiance and six months ago, about two weeks after we got engaged actually, amazing timing. He moved to Thailand for work. He plays football so he moved over there and that's where he's been for the last six months and that is also where he'll be for the foreseeable future. He's not been home for six months so he's not been to our house, he's not seen our dog, he's not seen Rue. Oh I just can't wait. You're about to have the best day and you don't even know. We thought it was going to be almost another month until we get to see each other um, but just with the way the games have worked out and everything it turned out he could come home I think it's three weeks earlier than I was expecting him and it also means we get an extra two weeks of the summer together which is so precious to us. But like what's really been keeping us going is knowing that we've got this time together in the summer so more on that in a second because we are we just got the best trip just honestly of our lives planned at the end of this week excuse me also his team won the league and I don't really know much about football but I do know that that means he'll be in the Champions League next season um and again I know that's a good thing I don't know exactly the ins and outs of all of that which considering I am a footballer's fiance and I've been a footballer's girlfriend for four and a half years I feel like I should maybe know more about football but definitely not. Let me tell you a little bit about this week. So not only has he sprung it on me that he's coming home three weeks early, which is the best kind of surprise in the world, but it was also his birthday two weeks ago. And obviously I haven't seen him since. So I really wanted to put together something, just really something small, you know, like his birthday presents and maybe a cake and a card and that sort of thing for when he gets home tonight. So we need to do a few bits for that today. Also this week, which I'm gonna pop into this vlog, we need to do some serious last minute holiday prep because I thought I had three weeks to get all of my appointments done before we went away, but I now have three days, two days, because today is a bank holiday, which has just reminded me I need to go to Waitrose before it closes, because what on earth is the time, and what time does Waitrose shut on a bank holiday? I don't know, but we need to get going. I've done a little bit of shopping so far, which again, I'll show you later, because I've got some gorgeous bits, but I really want a hair appointment, my annual haircut, which I was joking, but I'm not. We need to walk and talk, but it's gonna be a really great week, and Kenny is gonna be back on the vlog, and we are honestly doing our dream, dream holiday. I didn't even get to this part, but we are doing a big American road trip. I am definitely taking you to America with us, because, not only do I want to bring you along, but also I want to remember this trip for a lifetime. I'm so excited. We're also going to Vegas. Will we get married? I don't know. That's a joke. We probably won't do that. But also the thought of planning a wedding is very stressful. So we'll see. It's going to be a very eventful, very, very fun few weeks. And I'm just so excited and so happy if you can't tell. So let's head to Waitrose and get this boy the birthday cake he deserves. Also just all the things he's missed over the last six months of not being able to go to Waitrose, go to Tesco, go to all of our UK supermarkets. So let's go. Well, there's nothing like rain to welcome Kenny back to Manchester. It's definitely a trolley kind of day today. shop done there were a lot more treats in the shop than usual because I just feel like he'll need them he's had the longest travel day ever and I think when you get home from a really long travel day you just want all your comfort food he hasn't essentially slept since they played their last football game because they won the league they then had to have like the trophy ceremony where they all celebrate together and get given the trophy and all of that sort of stuff so basically it was game party car through the night airport first flight Doha, second flight, and then he'll be home in a few hours. But anyway, I just feel like he needs his treats. So these are the bits I got for him, and then also I obviously had to get a few treats for myself as well. These are his favourite crisps in the world. I'm pretty sure these would be honestly on his like death row meal. He absolutely loves crisps. I got him a pizza. Um, he's a veggie pizza kind of guy. He's actually a margarita pizza kind of guy, but I just I can't support that. So I got him a wood-fired char-grilled vegetable and pesto sourdough pizza. 
I thought that sounded good and it's also not that big so I know that he can easily manage that by himself. I got some fruit, this is basically for myself. I got him some bread, just some sourdough because we don't have any bread at home. This is his favourite chocolate in the world, just the plain milk Tony's chocolate. And I saw today that they have a dark creamy hazelnut that's vegan so I got that for myself. His favourite dessert in the world is just good old New York cheesecake, no variations. He doesn't want a lemon cheesecake, he doesn't want a strawberry cheesecake, he wants the original, the New York cheesecake. And then what else did I get? I think everything else was pretty standard. I got some rice cakes, I got some brown rice pasta, bananas, avocados, I got some almond butter, I got, oh yeah, my favourite soup, I got some kimchi, best kimchi ever. Um, I don't actually know how you say that brand, I don't think I've ever said it before, but they sell it in Waitrose, it's really good. Anyway, that's what I got, and now I'm gonna get home and make him a bit of a, oh my goodness, I didn't get him a birthday card. I didn't get him a birthday card, right? Back I go into Waitrose, and then we can have dinner and go and pick him up from the airport, I can't wait, let's go get this card. Picking a birthday card is always so hard. This one might be a good one for him if I could understand the joke, but the difficulty is I don't get the joke but it's football related. I think we're gonna have to go for this one because what I've realized is all of the very generic ones are all very pink and flowery. We're gonna get this at his old football club. They referred to him as King Kenny um, because he got them promoted once. So it's kind of relevant, we'll go for this. because his flight's actually running early. Um, we only live about 15 minutes from the airport, so we're okay, we still have time, but I'm actually really hungry. I would love to have my dinner before I leave. So let's talk about Kenny's birthday presents. He kind of has two main presents and then a little present that I just picked up yesterday because I couldn't resist that I'll show you. But his main present is a wash bag because his current wash bag is quite literally falling apart. So he actually requested this, which is very rare. I'm just seeing what we got for daddy. Oh, sorry, I said that word a bit early. Yeah, for his birthday. Oh no, she's gone to the window to look now. But yeah, he actually requested this. Not this exact one, he just requested a wash bag. Which is very unlike Kenny because normally he just says don't get him anything, he doesn't want anything. But I think he's realised four and a half years into this that whether he likes it or not, he's getting something. And he's always so generous on my birthday and Christmas and Valentine's and just everything. So I got him a Dior wash bag. Um, it's all so beautifully wrapped, which is actually a little bit of an issue when it comes to my plan for his second present. Let me just get this out. My plan for his second present was to put it inside his wash bag, but now, I mean, I don't want to undo that and I definitely don't have the skills to do it again. Second present, which was my idea, I need to cut while I talk because we are running out of time but these are basically tickets to go and see so we fly into san francisco that's our first stop and these are tickets to a baseball game it is between the giants and the yankees and it just so happened to fall on the weekend that we land so i just thought it might be a fun surprise obviously it's a very american sport and i think it's meant to be a good stadium i think they're good teams i got us really good seats and even if he doesn't absolutely love baseball i know nothing about it and i'm still so excited to go to this i just think it'll be a really cool experience so i have two options which is either put it inside his card 
or before he opens the wash bag I could say that I think there's the price still on it or something so can I quickly grab it and just check and then I could put the second present inside and then the other present I got him I feel like needs a little bit of context um context being we're about to go and do this big all American road trip and also we've both been watching Yellowstone we are obsessed with Yellowstone we started watching it in Thailand together but obsessed so when I saw these in Selfridges yesterday I just thought there is absolutely no way I'm not buying them. like a cowboy printed swim short I love them they're from a brand called Bordies I think Kenny will think I am insane but I just couldn't leave them behind so they are his birthday present I'm not going to wrap anything um because I quite frankly don't have time and I also don't even have any wrapping paper but I am going to go into the kitchen and just like lay everything out maybe put a candle in his cheesecake or something and just make a nice setup for when he gets home so let's go do it to the airport I am so excited it's half past seven his flight just landed um, but I'm four minutes from the airport and he has to go through baggage and all of that sort of thing so we'll probably be waiting for a bit um, but I've been so excited all day oh I can't wait I just want to get there now I just want to see him and I also just want to have my dinner because I've not had time yet to give him his birthday presents I'm so excited
Good morning everyone. It is Wednesday morning. Kenny and I have just been for brunch and now I'm dropping him off so that he can get a whole pizza to himself. So we went for breakfast and now I'm getting lunch. Okay, we went for breakfast one hour ago, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, am I going to drop you here? Yeah. Yeah. See ya. I've just dropped him off. He's going to get a pizza and I am on my way to get a pedicure. Now you might be thinking, oh how lovely, you must be so organised, so ready, packed for your trip and you've got time just to treat yourself to a pedicure, go out for brunch. Well, no, actually, my suitcase has not even come out of the cupboard. I hate packing so much that I actually need the pressure of knowing like there is no more time, you can't put this off even a second longer to get the job done. So naturally I'm procrastinating all day. I've got a pedicure now and then when I get home I've got a hair appointment. If you ever see me with straight hair just know that I am rushed, I am stressed, I am busy because I will always cut my hair. But I kind of thought there was no point today since I'm going to get it cut and blow dried and everything. And then Kenny and I are having dinner with my parents because they are coming up to look after Rue while we're away. That is the plan for today. It's going to be a very busy day albeit not stressful at all. Just actually a lovely day of treatments and getting ready for a gorgeous holiday so not the bad kind of busy the best kind of busy right i've just gone back for my pedicure i've got about 10 minutes until i need to run to my hair appointment but kenny very kindly picked me up two salads for my lunch from Gail's, Ruth's just inspecting them. I've got a roasted sweet potato and frika salad, which is the one I normally go for. Or I've got spelt, cauliflower and ferment. So I'm just gonna go for the one that I know and quickly have that. Kenny, can you put the kettle on for me? What's that? That's mine, don't That's you? Mine. Come on. Is it, your, is it actually yours or is it mine? It's addressed to my house. Okay, but is it addressed to me or you? This is so exciting. This is the most gorgeous delivery from a brand that I absolutely love um, called Rails, who very kindly gifted me some summery bits. I'll show you them properly later when I'm packing because I'm definitely taking all of this on holiday with me. But this is a gorgeous little striped cord. Um, and then this is just a really timeless, elegant, easy to wear black dress. So I'll show you them later when we pack. I'm just gonna quickly eat this or as much of it as I can. And then we're going to run to my hair appointment. Kenny's just dropping me off at my hair appointment now. I'm not having anything crazy because I really want to keep the length. Um, I just need the ends to be trimmed a bit because they're definitely dead. And then I want it reframed around my face because all these pieces have grown. Well, they're that long. They're almost completely grown out. And then I might, depending, get some long layers put in just so when I curl my hair, there's a bit more going on, a bit more volume, a bit more texture and that sort of thing. Yeah, nothing too drastic, just a bit of a tidy up. My hair is done. I've tucked it behind my ears because I actually got rained on the second I came out of the salon, but it was really just a trim anyway. Like I said, the rain has really undone all of Katie's hard work, um, but I'm really happy with it. It just looks a lot fresher and a lot lighter, and I know I'll be able to style it a lot more easily. So I'm currently sat outside Boots. I need to just run in, get all of my holiday essential bits, and then I'm going to pop to Waitrose and just pick up bits for dinner with my family. I just want something really easy that we can just throw in the oven. My mum's actually just texted me a request. Can you get one of these, please? Oh, coffee. Coffee beans for the coffee machine. Right, I'll admit it's not very often, but everybody needs a really quick, easy dinner sometimes. And considering it's nearly seven o'clock and I still haven't packed a single thing, I feel like tonight is one of those nights. So I just grabbed what was easy and convenient from Waitrose. So I got a couple of pizzas. I got a wild rabbit one for me because that's vegan. Um, Chargold peppers, sauteed mushrooms, creamy mozzarella, vegan mozzarella obviously, and baby spinach. And then for everybody else, I just got the same pizza that I got for Kenny on Monday. We'll all share both, obviously. And then I got a couple of packs of the Deliciously Ella um, tortelloni. I got a creamy butternut squash and sage one, and I got a rich sun-dried tomato one. I just thought we'll mix and match those two, and then mix them in with some of the Deliciously Ella sweet red pepper sauce. It's actually called Plants, I just call it Deliciously Ella. I think the brand is now officially Plants. 
And then I just got some spinach and some salad leaves because I thought we could mix them in with the Gales salads that we have left from lunchtime. And then I also got some tomatoes just to throw in there too. And for now, for anyone who is desperately hungry, I just picked up some hummus chips. Actually, I thought they were lentil chips, but hummus chips. Um, and my dad has bought with him his favorite hummus, which is also from Waitrose, but we can't get it in the Waitrose near us. It's from down south. And it is this one, which is za'atar hummus, um, but it's made with extra virgin olive oil. Let me just check the ingredients because according to dad, it's only got olive oil in. Yeah, that's true actually. So that's a really good brand for hummus with just extra virgin olive oil. I'm just gonna throw all of this together, hopefully with some help from Kenny, and that's gonna be dinner this evening. longer I think it's about nine o'clock at night and we have to be up like I said super early tomorrow so I'm just going to rapidly try and get this done and dusted and then I can just relax. This is the striped set from Rails that I showed you earlier. It's a long sleeved striped shirt and then it comes with where have I put them? These little shorts to match which I just think, perfect thing for holiday. You don't have to think about it, you can just throw it on. Talking of shorts, I bought these little linen um, shorts from And Other Stories. They are black, I think. They kind of look navy on there, but they are black. I thought they'd be really useful. And they're a really flattering length because I don't like my shorts to be really, really short. Um, I'll link anything that I show you. I got this bikini from And Other Stories, which is just a classic triangle bikini, but it's in this kind of like, velvety ribbed material that I thought was really nice and then the bikini bottoms are these like ruched string tie bikini bottoms. I bought this ring which I thought was really pretty. I bought this gorgeous linen set from a brand in Selfridges that I'd never actually um, heard of before. This is the name of the brand but it's all linen and it's this little crop top with like a square neckline which is really flattering. Then it comes with the linen maxi skirt um, this was a bit of an investment piece, I don't know. Yeah, I think the whole set was quite expensive, but it was just one of those things that's easy to put on. I felt really comfortable in it. It's going to be nice and cool because obviously some of the places we're going are going to be like 40 degrees, Las Vegas being one of them. Um, so I treated myself to that. I bought a set from Because of Alice, um, which I think she is an influencer. I think it's like an influencer brand. It's like this knitted set. So again, it's a long maxi skirt, which I just find to be the most flattering. And then it's just got a strapless little top that goes with it. The only thing I will say about this though, it's very flattering and it's lovely, but it's completely see-through. So you can, I mean, look at my, like you can really see your nipples through it. So I think I need to find something to wear. I need to buy like a strapless, skin colored bra or something to wear with that. Um, what else? I bought some new sunglasses, which I can't really justify. I don't necessarily need any more sunglasses. I think I'm taking about 10 pairs already, but I saw these on Alex Cooper and I just really liked them. Where did I get these from? I think I got them from End or something, but again, I will link all of this. I'll do it in a big post on LTK with the thumbnail from this video and just link all of this like everything I talked about in this video. Let me know if we like these or if they stick out too far on my face. I think I have a narrow face because I always feel like sunglasses stick out too far. Um, but I got them. What else? I know I got a couple of pairs of shoes. I got these little shoes from Steve Madden. Um, I just thought they were quite nice to put on in the day because they are really flat but they just have more of like an elegant kind of feel to them. So I really like them and they're in like a really gorgeous suede color. Definitely are other bits and pieces that I picked up, but you'll see them throughout the trip and we can talk about them then. Yeah. Okay. 